In a world of prejudice and misogyny, women like Lucy Stone have adamantly refused to remain silent and watch as women continue to be treated unfairly in society. Rather, Stone dedicated her entire life to ensure that women in America had their due rights exercised. In today's video, we are going to be looking into the life of the great women's rights movement icon. But before we go into that, I would encourage you to click on the subscribe button so you can subscribe to the channel and also like the video as well. Thank you very much. Lucy Stone was born on August 13, 1818 in rural Massachusetts to Francis and Hannah Matthew Stone who were both local farmers from New England. Her ancestors were revolutionaries which pretty much explains where she got her drive. Raised in a congregational church, Lucy Stone had embraced their anti-slavery campaign and witnessing the way women were relegated to the background and denied their rights to education. At the age of 16, Lucy Stone began her work as a teacher so she could save up some money for school but unfortunately that dream was dashed at the instance of her sister's illness and for that reason she had to withdraw from Mount Holyoke in 1939 after spending only one semester there. To realize her dreams and aspirations, Lucy Stone attended Oberlin College in Ohio, yet she was not permitted to explore her interest in public speaking, a field that was considered to be progressive in nature. This prompted her to decline the honor of writing a commencement speech at her graduation because the plan was to get her to write the speech and then a man would be the one to deliver the speech. So she wasn't allowed to deliver her own speech just because she was a woman and Lucy wasn't having any of that. By the reason of a few career prospects open to women as at that time, Stone took advantage of the employment opportunities that was offered by renowned abolitionist Williams Lloyd Garrison. There she was able to utilize the opportunity to write and deliver the abolitionist speeches for his American anti-slavery society and also got busy at the same time with the women's rights activities which eventually got her to be insulted and assaulted. One time she was even almost mobbed but this did not uh, deter her. Instead it pushed her to do more and she eventually became more popular for her stance and eventually began to aim more than the male lecturers. In her lifetime, she set two precedents. The first was in 1850 after the Seneca Falls Women's Rights Conference, where she organized the first national women's rights convention in Sister, Massachusetts. The speeches she made there were quite impactful and were reprinted in the international press. For five years, Stone traveled throughout the US and Canada for sensitization and continuously attended annual women's rights convention until she proceeded over the seventh one. The second was in 1858 when she reminded Americans of the no taxation without the representation principle. She refused to pay property taxes and was punished by the impoundment and sales of her household goods. At the end of the Civil War, she worked on the referendum for suffrage in Kansas. She also served as president of the New Jersey Women's Suffrage Association and helped organize the New England Association, in which she remained active even after her family moved to Boston in 1869, serving side by side on the executive committee of the American Equal Rights Association. Even in her marriage, which was blessed by two girls, with one of them surviving her and taking after her. Lucy believed in the equality of a man and his wife. She also retained her maiden name after marriage, which made her the first woman ever to do so. A decision that gained her a lot of criticism, but also today she's recognized for. Lucy Stone lived all her life fighting alongside other remarkable women in America for the rights of women to see women given their rightful place in society. She died on October 18, 1893 in Boston, Massachusetts at the age of 75. Thanks to women like Lucy Stone, 
more and more women are beginning to step up in society to make as much changes as possible. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.